If you are a recent or experienced fountain pen user and have ever wondered, what's the deal with that brand or that brand? I think I've got you covered because I'm going to attempt to give a short overview of 35 of our most notable brands in the hopes that it helps spur your curiosity to learn more or to develop you know, a connection with uh, a brand that might hit your particular bullseye. First off, Aurora, a multi-generational fountain pen company that makes just about all of their very beautiful pens on site in their facility in Torino, Italy, which is not common at all. This includes house-made ebonite feeds and their gold nibs, like it's a big deal. You can actually see more if you wanna check out our video that we took when we got the opportunity to do a factory tour. I really don't even need to talk about Benu because their pens are literally impossible to overlook. From their headquarters in Armenia, they make fountain pens that are seriously full of energy, and they always draw their design themes from equally exciting sources. They're a ton of fun. A French paper brand, Clairefontaine paper is super smooth, and you can get it in a huge variety of sizes, rulings, cover designs. Uh, you can count on this paper to give you a smooth ride that shows off your ink really well. Colorverse ink is made in South Korea, but their focus is the entire <laughs> observable universe. You won't find any of these inks without a theme, and more often than not, that theme centers around the beauty of astronomy, and their packaging is equally stellar. Conklin is a brand that has its roots firmly in the earliest days of fountain pen innovation. Pen, pen innovation? Penovation. Today, Conklin makes pens in that kind of next level, $60 to $100 range, and all with steel nibs that are made by Jovo in Germany. Straight out of Germany, Diatrementis makes a ton of great fountain pen ink that performs super well, but their document inks are the A-team here. That series is your best go-to if you want permanent fountain pen ink in a variety of colors. Diamine is a 100% ink only brand. That's what they do and they do it really well. From the UK, Diamine is known for having really great reds, inks that have sheen, inks that have shimmer. Uh, right now though, the product that they probably get the most hype around is their holiday ink vent calendars. Diplomat is a German pen brand that is most known for its Aero and Elox models, which are both reliable and fun and super satisfying to cap. Also uh, worth note is their Magnum model, which is an outstanding starter pen with a uh, fun little bouncy nip. Fountain pens from the Edison Pen Company are machined and polished in Ohio, making them the only US made fountain pen company on this particular list. The team over at Edison produces resin pens with German nibs using a meticulous eye for detail and crazy high production standards. Another fountain pen brand steeped in history, Esterbrook, has been semi-recently resurrected and has since doubled down on producing well-made fountain pens that are worthy of such a prestigious name. They seem to always have an exciting new special edition fountain pen popping up, so keep your eyes open. The uh, cushion cap on their SD model is worth noting, it keeps a great airtight seal. Proudly made in Canada, Ferris Wheel Press inks are not only impressive on the page, but the presentation of them is unrivaled. Every single color has its own distinctive box art and they're boxed up nice and securely. The bottles themselves and the caps, honestly, are just in a league of their own. These make outstanding gifts. And yes, we have our own products too. We have a ton of cleaning supplies available, we have spare nibs, and we also have notebooks that are bound with Tomoe River paper, which is the best paper for showing off fun ink properties like shading, sheen, or shimmer. It does take a while to dry though, so <laughs> keep that in mind. Okay, we're going to cover two brands here, sort of. Airbond is a, an ink brand that we've had for a very long time. If you're looking for an ink that will always be gentle in your pen, this is a good choice. And now Jacques Herbon is a premium version of the brand where you'll find the legendary 1670 ink series, which was uh, instrumental in the popularization of shimmer inks. You'd be hard pressed to find a fountain pen company that has embraced the pocket pen more so than Kaveco. This German pen brand is pretty much synonymous with everyday carry pens. So you'll want to keep Kaveco in mind if you want something that'll be a great traveler at an affordable price. Lamy, 
They are one of the pillars of the fountain pen industry. They produce one of the most beloved starter pens, the Safari, and one of the most beloved gold nib pens, the 2000. Lamy pens are user-friendly, they're well-made, and most of their fountain pens have the same interchangeable nib, which they also sell separately. Lamy also comes out with annual editions of many of their pens, and that is always pretty exciting. Leuchtsturm is a paper brand that almost certainly has your favorite color available somewhere as a journal or a planner. Their notebooks are also considered uh, by many to be a go-to for the bullet journaling method, and with fountain pens, you should expect Leuchtsturm paper to be a little less smooth than a brand like Clairefontaine, but you'll also see faster dry times. My personal favorite paper brand is uh, Maruman Nemosani. There's a tiny bit of like additional formatting and structure printed on many of their pages, but not so much that it restricts your writing freedom in any way. They also have a ton of great pocket sizes that are a little more unique for on-the-go note-taking. Great performance all around, too. Another multi-generational Italian pen company, Montegrappa, lives in the luxury space, producing high-end writing instruments with lots of different styles, but they're probably most well-known for their outrageous limited editions. Uh, check out the video right here for a tour of their lovely headquarters in Bassano del Grappa. Monteverde pens are anything but boring. You've got the confoundingly popular tool pen, and a variety of different pens that show off Monteverde's signature uses of carbon fiber, rainbow metal, and abalone, all at a reasonable price with German steel nibs. And they also have a huge selection of vibrant ink colors. Namiki is the heart and soul of the Pilot brand. Namiki differs from Pilot considerably, however, by producing fountain pens that serve as a canvas for the traditional art of Japanese urushi. Months of work go into each pen, which are hand lacquered by masters of truly breathtaking techniques. You're buying much more than a fountain pen when you buy one of these. Noodlers is an American ink brand and well known for its value. You can expect bottles of ink here uh, at a low price point that are always full to the brim, so open your bottle on a surface. Noodlers also sells super affordable pens with flexible nibs that offer line variation, though the pens are best suited for the hands-on tinkerer. Pelican enjoys an excellent reputation around the world for producing pens that stand the test of time. Essentially, these German-made pens sort of have one primary style of fountain pen, but in various sizes and designs, from the small-ish M200 to the massive-ish M1000. They make a very, very smooth internal piston filler that's definitely worth a try. You've probably heard of Pilot. They sell a ton of rollerballs, but fountain pens are still their passion. The thing you need to know about Pilot, though, is that they make excellent quality fountain pens in the $20 range as well as the $500 plus range. If you're looking for across-the-board consistency, this brand is probably it. Pilot's Orochizuku line of ink also enjoys that same reputation. Peniter was only a paper company before pen designer Dante Del Vecchio arrived. Dante is constantly innovating and running wild with fountain pen ideas in a way that only he can. <laughs> Nowadays, Peniter offers Italian-made luxury pens that are visually striking and operationally fascinating. One of the larger Japanese fountain pen companies, Platinum, is most known in the U.S. for its assortment of entry-level pens like the Preppy and its signature pen, the 3776 Century. Beyond those, Platinum also creates Urushi lacquer pens as well, and generates a lot of excitement with its 3776 Limited Edition pens. These pens often have the slip and seal cap, which does an amazing job at creating an airtight seal on your fountain pen. Private Reserve is an ink brand that offers a bunch of great colors, the ebony inks being my personal favorite, but their superpower is that they have well-organized performance-based subsets. Like, they have a collection of pearlescent inks, a collection of fast dry inks, and a collection of infinity inks that drastically reduce the chance of your pen drying out. Good stuff. Retro 51 is our only rollerball brand. Yes, they make a couple fountain pens, but they're here because sometimes you might prefer a rollerball. And Retro 51 allows us to get a ton of personality into our Plan B writing experience. No, just kidding. They're great for any application, but also limited editions. A lot of them. 
pay attention and you'll eventually find a Retro 51 that you swear was made just for you. Rhodia paper is sort of the cousin of Clairefontaine. You'll get a very similar writing experience, but with a more minimalistic aesthetic, usually in black and orange, but not always. Uh, smooth paper, available in a bunch of different rulings, but the dot grid is always the most popular. An ink manufacturer out of Australia, Robert Oster's handmade ink is stored in recyclable PET bottles that are manufactured in Australia's first carbon neutral plastics plant. Personally, I think Robert Oster's best inks are their dusky purples and their golds, but you cannot deny that Robert Oster knows how to make a darn good blue. Sailor pens are hugely popular, as you'll see fun new fountain pen colors launching all the time, along with new inks, both of which are made in Japan with the high quality standards that you'd expect. Sailor manufactures a bunch of different nibs, which you can learn more about here. Before buying one, you should expect it, the nib I mean, to have a little bit of feedback on the page, sort of like a pencil would, but not a super sharp one, though. You can count on them to write, and write well. Our only French fountain pen brand, ST DuPont, makes luxury fountain pens that are substantial in the hand and reliable on the page, usually utilizing traditional lacquering techniques with metal hardware, ST DuPont pens are built to last generations. Tachia is a fountain pen company that has a huge passion for Japanese urushi art. Uh, these are heirloom pens that showcase masterful craftsmanship and artistry. Uh, Tachia always delivers a wow factor, and for that reason they occupy that grail pen category much of the time. These are definitely worth a look, and a lot of work goes into each one, and it shows. The product that Traveler's Company is most well known for, without a doubt, is their Traveler's Notebook. Not really a notebook at all, but it's a modular system that allows you to customize it with a bunch of different types of notebooks, inserts, and accessories. They also sell a delightful little travel pen. Their company name <laughs> makes sense. If there was a crown for the ruler of the under $100 fountain pen category, it would probably go to Twisby. With around a dozen different pen models all below $100, Twisby is a great option for new users or any writer looking to get a lot of bang for your buck. You'll see that Twisby specializes mostly in clear pens with a variety of internal filling mechanisms. And finally, we have Visconti. One of the most well-known Italian fountain pen brands, you'll find that Visconti features that Italian flair in their designs, much of it drawing inspiration from Italian history. Most famously, they have a lava pen, the Homo sapiens, which indeed contains basaltic lava sourced from Mount Etna in Sicily. That's a good indication of uh, what you can expect from Visconti. You can see products from these brands listed on our store over at gouletpens.com, which I'll encourage if for no other reason than to enjoy the diversity of styles from across the world that this delightful hobby has to offer. Thanks for joining me.